so I'm having some issues with my solar. Um, I've reached out to um, Rock Solar and I haven't heard back from them. So for some reason, the solar is not charging my battery. So I'm just going to do a little test here to see if the solar is working. If the solar is working, then I know it's the battery set up. So let's try this out. So I'm just going to try. Um, I've unhooked my batteries. I'm going to start them in. I'm going to try to see if this works. I'm just going to hook this up to my power, my pedals. I don't want to use my blue eddy because I want to see how much power is coming in. I've got 30, 30 watts coming in, 31 watts, so the issue is the battery, not the solar, so that's a good thing. This thing's gone through some bit of, of abuse, but um, I like using this to tell me what my input is. Um, so it's telling me right now 30, 31, 30 watts that are coming in. Um, so that tells me I have an issue with my battery bank. So it's a little overcast, but I mean, we're getting 33, 34, 35 watts of in input. So now I know where my issue is. I can start focusing in on the actual issue. Whether I wired it wrong, I don't know. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this solar issue. Um, I show that I've got power coming in, but it's not charging. So it's not charging. I'm going to try this. I know my wires. So let's try this. Let's see. This will give me a better idea. This is red. My input right now is 44 watts. I'm um, battery sitting at 40%. So let's see if this charges. I'm gonna try something. I have a battery bank here that doesn't work um, by Headwolf. Um, I've reached out to many times in regards to warranty and haven't heard back. So there's not much battery left on it. It won't charge, but there's a little bit. I'm going to try reversing this. If I blow up the battery, I blow up the battery. At this point, it doesn't matter. So let's try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something. I'm going to reverse this and see what happens. Um, because I have a suspicion that this is, might be what it is. Let's find out. here and then this goes to here and let's turn the power on for this thing what power there is in this thing I like the display on this one I have my blue eddy hooked up to here um, and it just shows you know your wattage coming in and the battery going up but I like to know why this the percentage that we're actually at So we have 88 watts coming in. We started at 19%. So I do know solar is working now. So I was just talking to one of the techs over at um, Rock Solar. And the, part of the issue here is that the inverter that I have, um, it's a stronger inverter. And the 
controller that they sent me is like a $20 um, controller. And that controller just probably couldn't handle it and just basically shut itself down. So they're sending me the more expensive one and I should have it within a few days and I'll get that hooked up and I can get everything running again. But I think the battery's dead um, because everything was running off of it and the, the thing shut itself down. So we'll try things out. I do know solar is working because I have it hooked up to that battery bank right now. Um, I did have my Blue Eddy hooked up to it and it works the same, um, but I just want to see how long it takes to, to charge um, that one, because uh, I can just leave that one sitting in the back for now. Let's find out. Yes, got it. Now, uh, let's, I think I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Let's go install. difference. I might have changed my hole. Hmm. Okay. It's the old silicone. I've got to screw this thing on. Let's see. Okay, it's the bottom. Glad to have one of these. I was just trying to figure out um, how to do this. Can I use the old holes? Almost. Let's make sure this is the exact fit though. Okay, let's get these hooked in. Put everything back in here. I take everything out in order to do the rivets. Um, this is my solar. This is the power to the controller. So the power from here goes to the controller and then the inverter runs off the battery. So let's go get some uh, power on it. Okay, so it's overcast today. Pulling 13.8. I've got to read the instructions on this thing though. Wow, well, what's this? Oh, maybe that's what's pulling it right now. Again, I got to read the instructions. So, my temperature. give you some details on the solar system uh, it's pulling up on my phone so these are Canadian prices so originally it was $2.99 um, on sale it's $1.89 uh, for 150 watt 12 volt um, solar panel hopefully it's waterproof um, the hardware for it is these Z clamps or brackets don't need advertising um, those are 17 down to 15 um, the wires 
uh, to extend it. Uh, those are 39 uh, Canadian again. The inverter, which is a thousand watt inverter, pure sine wave, 12 volt, 110 uh, to 110 volt. Normally it was 359 on sales, 279.99. Um, the controller, which is being replaced, it was 59 down to 39. This is getting replaced because it doesn't work with the system I have. So we're going with an upgraded one, which I'll see if I can find. The battery, 12 volt battery, 100 amp hour, deep cycle. Um, this battery itself here, 1,299 on sale is 899.99. That's a good deal. Now, let's see if I can find the um, this I think this is the one we're going with um, this will be the new controller I think it looks like it um, 20 amp I think this is the one it's hard I'm looking through the phone uh, 40 amp I think he actually he might be doing the 40 amp. Let me see. 200 bucks, yeah. So 200 bucks, um, right now it's sale for 159.99. So this is the one we're going with. Um, you can see the difference in the controller. That's all the front without the cover. And this will just get mounted. This will be my main system for running everything. And this is your your hookup. So solar to the controller. Oh. Solar to the controller. If I want to have external lights, which I'm working on, this the battery charges the controller or runs that. And then from here goes to the inverter and then I plug stuff into the inverter. Very simple. That's all in that box. So this is the setup through Rock Solar.